Okay, so recently uh, there's been a lot of uh, David Wood has been uh, commenting a lot on Mohamed Hijab. He made a video called Mohamed Hijab Answers Toughest Atheist Questions About the Quran. Now, the question really arises, why is David Wood and his boyfriend, Apus, so obsessed with Mohamed Hijab? Well, the reason why is because Mohamed Hijab has a lot of followers on his uh, on his YouTube. Let's see how many uh, followers he has. Or right, let's go to Mohamed Hijab's uh, YouTube page real quick. Okay, so. So Mobile Hijab has one 1.25 million subscribers right here. 1.25. So Mobile Hijab has a million followers, or he has a million uh, subscribers. And I uh, want to. Um, so some of his videos have like millions of views. Like this has a million views. This debate has a million views. Uh, what else is out there? Yeah, see, his debate with Dave Wood has 4.3 million views. Uh, so, yeah, so his videos have, like, millions of views all over the place. Or some of his videos have million, millions of views. So my point is that the whole reason... So we, we saw... Uh, so we saw, like, the subscriber count or the followers... Uh, the followers that uh, Mohamed Hijab has, he has a million followers. So that that was my point. And hang on, let me bring it. Let me bring back the. Uh, just give me one second here. Okay. So what I was saying is that we we saw the the followers of Mohamed Hijab or the subscribers of Mohamed Hijab YouTube. It's over a million subscribers. So that is a lot of followers. That is a lot of subscribers. So. You know, I know what David Wood is doing. What he, what David Wood is doing, is that he's comment, he's uh, commenting, or he's uh, uh, addressing moment hijab, because you know, if he if he makes a video about moment hijab, he knows it's going to go on the YouTube search engine, right? So if it goes on the, if if somebody types in moment hijab. They're gonna find David Wood's video in, in like the first few uh, uh, videos. So David Wood knows this, and he's doing this as clickbait. He's doing this as clickbait. He's doing this because he wants Moment Hijab's fans and followers to uh, find his video or find David Wood's channel. So because the whole the whole reason why he's doing that, the whole reason why he's uh, attacking this video is not to refute Mohamed Hijab's points. The reason why he's doing that is because he knows that you know that his his video is going to show up on Mohamed Hijab search uh, uh, search for YouTube or YouTube search engine is going to is going to pop up David Woods or is going to show David Woods video in the first few Mohamed Hijab videos. So David Woods, the whole reason why David Wood is so obsessed with Mohamed Hijab is clickbait the whole reason why david wood is commenting on Mohamed hijab's videos and is like annoying him and is uh you know so obsessed with or is commenting and uh promoting Mohamed hijab's videos is so david wood can get attention for himself so this whole thing is clickbait attention whoring uh well maybe maybe attention whoring is a too strong of a term the whole point is this whole thing is clickbait attention seeking that David Wood is doing so David Wood can get Mohamed Hijab's fans to go to his channel to uh, find his channel. So Mohamed Hijab's fans, when they click Mohamed Hijab on YouTube, they're going to find David Wood's channel, Apologetic Roadshow, and they're going to they're gonna click on David Wood's video and they're going to find David Wood's channel. So the whole reason David Wood is going after Mohamed Hijab is not to refute Mohamed Hijab. It's to get attention or to create some clickbait video content 
So Mobile Jobs fans find David Wood's channel and video and, you know, pay attention to David Wood because we all know David Wood really is, we, we all know who David Wood really is. He's a attention whore. He is a attention seeker. He is Regina George from Mean Girls. He will do anything to try to be a leader. He'll be, he'll do anything to get attention from Muslims. Anything. He will, he will go to these extreme lengths to get attention from Muslims. He will cause the biggest controversy. He'll cause the biggest drama at Speaker's Corner. He will do anything to get attention from Mohammed Hijab. Like James White's homosexual uh, obsession with Bart Ehrman to get Bart Ehrman's attention. While well, David Wood is obsessed with Mohammed Hijab to get the attention or the fan base to click on David Wood's video. So David Wood so Mobile Jobs fans find David Wood's content. So so this whole thing is clickbait attention seeking. So David Wood's not trying to refute Mobile Job. He's trying to get Mobile Jobs followers and fans to find his channel. So uh so he can get the Mobile Jobs fans attention. So he can get Moment Moment He Jobs uh subscribers and fans to find his channel and to find his content, so this whole thing is attention-seeking, clickbait. Uh, click is a uh, attention-seeking, clickbait plot of David Wood. So I gotta admire David Wood for being so obsessed with Mom and Hijab that he created this uh, attention-seeking clickbait uh, uh, propaganda or attention-seeking clickbait uh, plan. So he can get the Moment He Jobs fans to pay attention to his channel. So this whole thing is, so David Wood didn't refute anything of Moment He Job. He's just using Moment He Job to get attention for, to get Moment, Moment He Jobs fans and uh, subscribers to find his channel and to find his video. So David Wood, as David Wood loves getting attention from Muslim apologists, or no, not, not Muslim, but he loves getting attention from, he loves getting attention from Muslims by using Muslim apologists because he he he's did this with uh, Zakir Naik. He did this with uh, uh, Zakir Naik and who's the other Muslim apologist? The Muslim metaphysician, and uh, he did this with uh, who's the other Muslim apologist he was using? Uh, I don't remember the other Muslim apologist he was. He was using some other Muslim apologist, which I I don't remember. Uh, but he was using another Ali Dawa. There you go. He was using Ali Dawa, or he was uh, refuting. He was uh, commenting or using Ali Dawa's videos to create some kind of clickbait, uh, clickbait attention seeking, so he can get Ali Dawa's fans to his channel too. Because Ali Dawa has a million subscribers. I believe Ali Dawa has over a million subscribers somebody can uh, correct me in the comments but I, I believe ali dawa has over a million subscribers uh you know and if i'm wrong let me know in the comments below but uh you, you see this whole thing you see you see what david wood is doing there's no sincerity here he's not sincerely he's not trying to sincerely refute moment hijab to uh uh, evangelize Muslims or anything like that. He's not. He's not trying to do that. He's trying to get Moment Hijab fans and followers and subscribers to find his channel. To you know, he wants Moment Hijab subscribers to find his channel, so he can, uh, so he can get the attention that uh, he can get their attention. So this whole thing, I know what David Wood is doing, and it's pretty sad that he has to go through these attention seeking he has to go through these high school drama type antics here you know i don't think i don't think david wood is gay for a moment hijab you know i think james white is gay for young muslim kids and bart ehrman because james white is secretly uh gay but i don't i don't think david wood had, david wood is gay for a moment hijab or you know has some kind of like homosexual feelings for a moment hijab i think he's just using moment hijab He's using Mohammed Job to get attention for himself. So, so this is the reason why David Wood is so obsessed with Mohammed Hijab, so he can get the attention from Mohammed Hijab subscribers and fans. It's he's not he's not trying to refute Mohammed Hijab. He's trying to get Mohammed Job's subscribers 
to go to his channel and to pay attention to him and to give him the attention he so desperately craves. Stay tuned. More videos coming ahead.